up everybody and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2 Free Roam. We're going to be doing everything from robbing stores to hunting and even fishing. Uh, checking out everything that the Free Roam of Red Dead Redemption 2 has to offer. And uh, get, get, into a, get into a bit of trouble, but a lot of fun. So if you watch and enjoy this too, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'm going to do my best to keep this spoiler free. So if you want to you know, keep this, the storyline all intact for yourself... That is okay, because we're just going to be doing every extracurricular activity over here. And I think that we should start off with uh, maybe a bit of robbery. There's a couple of stores here. There's a general store. There's a hotel. There's a bank there. I don't think I can rob the bank yet. I have progressed through the story where I can go fishing. And I do know a bit more about hunting and everything like that. But as you progress through the story, different uh, sort of activities unlock. We can also do a bounty here, too. But I think... I think it's a good thing to start off with robbing a store. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, to do that, I think we should do it a little bit more low-key. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my two revolvers. Oh, all right, sir. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my bandana as well. There we go. Hide my identity. Although it's not going to matter much if I hide my identity, is it? <laughs> it's not going to hide. It's not going to hide too much. Let's go through here. Let's go rob the, let's rob the medicine store. And there's actually something interesting about the medicine store. If we go to the back over here, I was just snooping around, looking, and I saw back here, this like metal door. What are you looking at? See that? That mask needs to go. Looks a bit suspect to me. All right, the lawman a little bit upset there, but I think that if we go into here, listen, we got the doctor here. All right, listen, I'm going to take off my mask. It's me. Don't worry about it. So you can go in here and get some uh, meds, some health potions, stuff like that. And go back here. We got a security door. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Well, there's a security door there. Oh, he's not going to let me rob him like that, huh? How about, uh, nope. Okay. Didn't even get to rob him. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. All right, just straight up shoot me. We all good. Disturbing the peace. This is what I'm wanted for right now. Didn't even get to rob the store. I'm just disturbing the peace. Just for disturbing the peace, they're getting wild at me. We can actually rob stagecoasts and sell them as well. We can sell horses. We've gotten to that point. Let's lose these cops, though, and let's rob that store again. Back there seems like a secret area for some uh, illicit activities, to say the least. They mentioned that the first time you go into town that some of these... Uh, these, these storefronts have side businesses, hey, hey. which can be fairly profitable if you want to venture to them there. Beautiful game, though. Absolutely stunning. We will go hunting at some point here. We will go fishing, which I recently just unlocked. And for those of you following the walkthrough, I actually recorded that. And we'll have that walkthrough up soon. Oh, no, I have a $10 bounty now. Goodness gracious. Let's see if we can get away from this guy. Oh, he's really, he's really gunning it for me, huh? I feel like sticking to the road is going to be less beneficial for me. It's going to be a bit less beneficial. We got a card over there. All right, leave me alone, law. Please. I ain't done nothing. Well, I did something, but I ain't done too much. Somebody's house here. We got a barn. Oh, nice, nice bowl over there. I'm going to smack myself into the tree as we ride into the, what is the sun? I think it's the sunset overlooking this beautiful valley here. Great spot to go fishing, at least. Oh. Yeah, be careful about that, horsey. Now, when you do get a bounty on you, you got to go ahead and pay that off or else people are going to be very upset at you. I also want to show you something real neat here. So if we go over here and we get our varmint rifle. We aim at this California Valley Coyote. You can see in the bottom right how many stars it has. Those stars will tell you the quality of the pelt. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. And when we skin them, we should get a perfect pelt from this one. Perfect pelts sell for more. And they also are used for crafting. So let's see if this is... Oh, I think it's a two star now that I shot it. I think you might have to shoot a specific way. Maybe an arrow to the head. Would have kept it intact. Or maybe just a better rifle to have been used. So, 
you got to keep those things in mind when you're hunting. And not only I, but I'm sure you will get the hang of it. Uh, that was just a good pelt. Which is good. It's good. I don't know if you can use them for crafting the good pelts. But definitely not a bad gig to go hunting. There's some wild horses out here. Ooh. Oh, oh, chill, 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 chill. Come on, horsies. What we can do is we can steal a horse, ride it into town, and then sell it. That's also a profitable way to make some money. I guess just profitable would be a way to say it. Let's study him. This is a Morgan horse. All right, they're a little they're a little frightened, so I'm gonna try to approach them. See if I can get a little bit closer to them. Calm him down. So long as he's not spooked. It's okay. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna try to keep him calm. No, no, easy. You're okay. Let me pat him. There you go. Nice little Morgan horse he is. <laughs> there we are. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get on him. There we go. Stick on him. Oh no! He hit bucked me off. I almost had it there. Almost had it. That wasn't nice. That was not nice, horsey. We're gonna let the Morgan get away, I guess. Is there a way to Oh he's booked it now. We can try to get that horse. So hold left click and move it in the direction. All right, that's what I've been doing wrong. Stay. Don't yeah, to stay. Let's try that again now. Let's try it again. Come on. Easy, Boy. Easy. Just calm down. Whoa, calm down. Now. Stop and calm it before approaching again. Oh, they're gunning it, man. You got to be real calm and serene about it to get these horses. There's a whole art to it. Let's say. Almost walked up on this animal over here. Let's let's walk up to them. Let's see if we can find a horse that we can tame and do it right this time. There we go. Hi, boy. There we go. Study him. I think it's still Morgan. This might be the same one that we tried to tame. Calm down. Come on, Bucko. Just calm down. Everything will be all right. Okay. Hey, oh. don't worry about it. All right, I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna walk very slowly towards you. It's all right. Everything's all good. Don't worry. Let me pat you. There you go. You're good. Wild horses. Yeah, you're okay. All right. That's so now we mount it. We click in L3 and move it in the opposite direction that the horse is going. So now we hold it in the opposite direction. There we go. We broke it. So we've successfully broken the horse, but it will still have some wild tendencies. Continue to bond with it to make it obedient. We got a Morgan horse, ladies and gentlemen. A wild horse. So let's head over back to town here and see if we can sell it. You could, you could opt to keep the horse. That's totally an option. You could sell it. Or you could uh, store it. So you could have multiple horses. Let's call our horse to follow along here. I'm thinking though, if I don't, uh, if I don't sell him, he might kind of uh, just run away at a certain point. So let's open up a map, which if you want to quick select, you just hold um, the start button. Let's make our way over to the bounty. The bounty place, which is actually just the same thing as the the train station. That's where you pay off your bounty so that nobody gets mad at you anymore. Let's head over there right now. You can see there's some wild horses over here. We don't have the best stamina on this horse, but again, it is... We literally just got it, so... You can come to expect that. And apparently if you tap X with the gallops properly, you actually don't lose any stamina on your horse. I haven't learned how to do it properly. I think it takes some time to master. But one day I will be a master with the horse here. Like I am with young Hefe. So let's go ahead and just uh, walk up to this train station here. The bounty office too. 
And let's hitch our horse just because uh, I'm a little scared he's going to run away if I don't. Line it up. There we go. Hitch him to the window. Horse bonding. Level 1 achieved. All right. Just a moment, please. You can buy train tickets here. You can rob them. We're going to pay a bounty off, though. So let's pay the new Hanover one. Boom. Easy. All right. Now let's go ahead and see if we can sell the horse. We might have to wait until daytime. I'm not sure if they're open still. It is quite late, as you can see. Some people are still up and about. I would think that they would still be. Oh. What's happening here? Whoa, 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 dude. You ain't afraid to get blood. Oh okay. shoot! Oh gosh! Get a headbutt, you dude. You got no hope, Mister. Oh! I'm an excellent fighter. All right. What you got on me, bro? Don't punch a lady. Ugh. That's what you get. Am I pick up my hat, partner? Let's loot him too. What you got on you? There we go. 59 cents. Oh, shoot. Where did the other horse go? Oh, see? He's so untamed. He would need a saddle, too, if we wanted to keep him. He went to come eat the hay from the hay bales over here. It's pretty neat, actually. I've never seen them do that before. All right. Let's go over here, and let's see how much we could sell this horse for. How much you got for me? Now, I've never done this before, so if we want to sell them, it's $2.20. Not ride. a crazy amount of money, but you totally can sell them. And if you want, you can Sorry, stable them and the keep them. I think you can hold up to three horses. So we're going to sell them. That's a good choice. There you go. High and then you can manage your own horses. I have one more. Or you can hold four, actually. So I have a Shire, a Tennessee Walker, and I have El Jefe, which is my, my trusty steed. There's also the ability to buy these horses here. And I think they, they get a couple in stock once in a while. So the thoroughbred, I can actually get for free. I believe that was part of some pre-order thing or I one of the additions. Personally. Best stock, so guaranteed. I haven't got this one yet, but he looks sweet. He looks real sweet. I'll keep these horses fed and watered until you get back. All right, maybe we should buy that horse. What do you think? Let's buy the horse. go back here and get this beautiful horse now I'm curious if they change the way they look after a while so like if I come back later will thoroughbred look different it's possible now, he's a race horse so he goes real fast he's got a lot of acceleration but like the the stamina stuff like that may not be as good as the other horses that we have so let's go ahead and claim him and we can just call um let's call him pancake for now pan cake Pancre not pancreatitis. Pancake. There you go. Price tag is high, but I tell you, you won't regret it. Alright, so this is pancake here. As good as they get. We can go ahead and uh, go to grooming services. You can change their mane, change their tail. This horse will pass for you no can put anything you like on them. You can put a mohawk. I tend to go with the mohawk. Mm -hmm. And then you can even change their tail and and braid it if you like. So you can have a braided tail. <laughs> Look at that. And then in addition to that, I think you could change... You could change, like, saddles, saddlebags, stirrups, horns, blankets, bedrolls. All that stuff is possible to change. Look at this horse right here. So my horse, my other one's a war horse. This one's allegedly faster. And of a different breed, so... Let's go ahead and hitch up. Let's go ahead and why don't we go to the saloon for the night here? Oh boy. Good to see Not you the again. busiest of nights. Let's go ahead and get What's a drink from the bartender. Let's get a let's get a beer. Give me a beer. Here it is. There you go. You can just drink it back. 
have a conversation. Oh, man, that was some fight. You boys slugged it out fair and square. <laughs> Except maybe him throwing you through the window like he did. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen him since, but he ain't all there. Like the lamp's lit, but there's no one home. <laughs> but like I said, you fall fair. That's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, cheers right, man. to you, mister. I, I'll leave you to your drink. You best be leaving me my drink. Another? Get on out of here. No, I won't have another. Let's see if we can start up a bar fight or something. Am I in a mood for some fun? Ma'am? What have we here? Motley bunch of fellas around here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just watch yourself, alright? Bye. Bye. What do we got over here? We got a bunch of people just drinking it. It's late at night, too. You're a chump. Our table's growing moss. Well, Ooh. you've got some mouth on you. Oh. Yeah, God you. God damn it. You know I'm all right. Oh. Goodness gracious. It's a bar fight, baby. Oh, shoot. There's more of them than there is me. We need that going in, though. Bullshit. Mm. I gotta take one out at a time. There we go. Oh, we're taking this into the streets now. Ugh. Let's grab him. Knock him out. There we go. The last guy here. Come on. Oh, punch him through the saloon doors. One second, lawman. Let me choke him out. All right. Hold up. Oh. All right, all right. I surrender. Just had a little bar fight. Just come with me, and we'll all right. do this thing all proper light. Take me to jail. Just wanted to get into a little bar fight here. Just a normal day in the wild, wild west. We got to think of what we did in here. We interrupted their poker game. It wasn't very nice, I guess. He made me mad, though. He was looking at me funny from across the room. Come on, now. Now, we got released on some good behavior here. It's good to be free. It's also good to rob some stores. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see over here, you can head to the bank. But at the moment, for me at least, it doesn't seem like I can do anything. Welcome, welcome. He won't even do anything if I aim a gun at him. After I don't think. Time, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them in there too, so you gotta be careful. But it doesn't seem like you can rob those yet. That's definitely a thing that's gonna happen if you just progress further in the story. So let's go into the general store here. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna go ahead and put on our mask, get our dual wield out, go first person, and head into the store. Oh, hello, sir. Mm, I was thinking that maybe hey, you give me give me what's in the register. Right now. I got youngins. Don't. All right, then Don't give the money. Wrong. I'll open this up. Okay. Stealing from the hard working good job. Ain't no need to do anything drastic. All right? Oh, there's a witness. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this money real quick. Hope That's you don't mind. Tiny. Grab that. Grab a couple dollar bills. I'm gonna Perfect. Close this shop. I've had enough. Oh, that's kind of depressing. I didn't mean for all that to happen. Oh, it wasn't me. It was the other guy. Psych. Psych. That guy would not die. Where's the other guy at? Oh. All right, that's it. You want to play it like this? One, two, three. Woo! Coming the Wild West gunslinger out here. Look at these graphics, though. Oh wow! Oh, that's pretty brutal. Oh god, I'm gonna just help. You. I'm gonna help you out, dude. Get the authorities. Why are you trying to hide in there? Where are you going? 
Huh? I tried to rob your store before you reported me. That's what you get. Alright, that's it. They wanted to mess around. Alright, we gotta get on out of here. Time to steal a horse. Oh, these horses are bucking formation. Yeah! Oh, this horse is going whatever way he wants right now. Oh, shoot. The horse just bucked me off. Oh, someone just shot the horse, actually. We're out of here. There are horse killers around here. Oh, that's my horse. It's my new trusty steed. Oh, there's a dog. We gotta pet him. We gotta pet him. It's only fair. Come here, doggo. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Can I pay you? Oh, I can't pay you with the law man coming. Give me a second here. I'll defend you. These bad men are trying to take you from me. Let's get a carbon. Let's get a... Oh no, horsey! Do not betray me! Double barrel shotgun. Alright, not too effective at that range. A little bit closer, you Gucci. Oh gosh, that hurts. There we go. You know what, this last one, we're gonna run at him with our fist. Yeah! Ooh! Goodness gracious. Take your hat while I'm at it. As you can see, I got some blood and dirt on me. Let's see. Do I, if I take off the mask, or they're just like, no, nah, that's cool. Oh, it ain't me! I'm just innocent! No! Oh, they're not that dumb. Oh, gosh! Shot me in the sirloin. Oh, goodness. That's it for me. I'm just spraying before I go down. Okay. So, I just did that. Clearly, I wasn't trying to live. I just want to see how far we could take it. I want to try some other things now. I want to try a bounty. I want to try hunting. I want to try fishing. I want to try robbing a stagecoach. Robbing a train. And doing all that fun stuff. So, real quick. What I wanted to do is... I wanted to go to the back room here and see what was up with this area. There's definitely repercussions for what I've done. Cannot use the shop at this time. Shopkeeper is frightened. I wonder if we could look into the back over here. What are you looking at? Uh, hey what's there. up, dude? Can you tell me? You must need eyes in the back of your head. Ah. Okay. Let's knock on the door. Excuse me. Anybody home? What do you want? This is private. Get lost. You fit it, found a hidden operation at the medical business. You could rob the shop's side business. Oh, they're fighting in there. Y'all need help? All right, so I can't rob it yet because the shop's not open. We gotta wait till the shop's open to do that. The other ones weren't nearly as spooked. I actually think that in that sc that scruffle there, I shot that guy. So, fair enough. It would make sense why he's not there. There is shows available though. I kind of want to see what one of those entail. Don't want to watch the whole thing. Might be long. But I do want to see what it entails, like a show. Is it going to be like a black and white film or something? Hello, here for a ticket to the show? Uh, Who's show info. Right now? The bear. Mm hmm. The bear? What does that even mean? Give me a ticket. Ticket, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. All right, let's go in here. What is happening? Oh, wow. All right. Just take a seat anywhere. So these are the shows that you can watch. Folks, 
I'm going to tell you a morality tale from when our country was young, but the settlers used to tell it's like a slideshow. Of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on food and meat. So this is a, a movie about a bear. We're not going to watch the bear movie, but if you're interested, if you get the game, definitely watch the bear movie. Leaving early, I hope everything was okay. No, it was boring, and it was a movie about a bear. Thought it was going to be an action flick or something. All right. Let's go ahead and hitch this horse real quick. Good morning, sir. We know we can just leave him here. We kind of got. Morning, mister. I feel like we went to prison. You need to open your eyes. Excuse me, sir. You need to respect your fellow man. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. I need a bath. You arrange a bath. I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head All back right, to sweet. Over there. Got a bit, uh, not too dirty from the fight, but a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, derobe here. Get into this bath. Nice little bubble bath here. Scrub my head. Scrub, 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 scrub. That's a good wash right there. Would you lack any assistance? Oh. Yeah, I'd love yeah, an okay. assistance here. Yeah. 50 cents? Sit back and relax, hon. All right, lady. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. An extra scrub anywhere? Scrub my left arm. Specifically my left arm. You'll oh. leave this place feeling brand new, you know. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's a good rub there. You might be the friendliest person I've met in this town. Yes, that's how it is around here. Always mm. been. Always been. Yeah, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Let's just keep that between us and these four walls, shall we? All right, she's not wrong. There is four walls. Can you scrub my left leg too? So how are things with you? That's not my leg. I'm just kidding. Yes, not too bad. There we go. Gotta keep clean out here, you know? So, you spoken for? <laughs> You're nosy, aren't you? No. I'm just trying to chat. I'm just trying to get a bath over here. Alright. I've had quite the run of bad luck recently. Oh, gosh. You poor thing. Nah, she's just gonna All tell right. me what I want to hear. Perfect. Yeah, give me a kiss on the forehead. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. It was a pleasure. All right, we're nice. Nice and clean now. We're ready to go rob something. That's what we're ready to do. Why don't we buy something new before we go rob? Let's buy a new outfit before we go rob the store. That secret part of the store, at least. Oh, pardon me. This dude said he was going to shut down. Oh, wait until morning. Come on. Appreciate it. We're just going to sit outside on the steps waiting. Just waiting for the morning here. There we go. All right. Crack my neck. 8.02 in the morning. 41 Fahrenheit. Oh, it's this guy again. I'm sorry, dude. With me again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm watching you. All right. I I my apologies. Buy your things and get gone. Okay, I'm sorry, no man. Nonsense from you. Here's the catalog. Okay, my my I'm seriously, sir, my apologies. Okay? I keep hitting provisions by accident. Let me just try this one more time. Clothing. Let's buy a cool outfit. What outfits we got here? The Vanquero. What's the most expensive one? We're gonna buy the most expensive. You can't even buy this one. The Dewberry Creek. Oh, that's pretty cool. Prove your honor to unlock this item. Fair enough. I got to tend to, so get you on. can actually, I kind of like this because you can go through and look at each one of the outfits here a bit easier than if you were to just look in the catalog. So I think we're going to go with, I actually really like the vaquero. Probably pronouncing that wrong. 
Let's go ahead and buy that. I got a little bit of a discount because uh, I'm really good in this town, apparently. He doesn't mind that I shot him. Or I didn't shoot him, actually. I just robbed him. All right? There's a difference. There's a difference out here. I ain't gonna stay patient there's, forever. There's a code. Get down to business. All right, I'm sorry, dude. I'm out of here, okay? I gotta go rob another store. You might know him. He's the medicine man. Let's go ahead and let's let's pop some. Uh, let's see. Let let's pop some miracle tonic. There we go. Miracle tonic's great, but we need to restore our cores. So in the bottom left, you'll see the heart, the lightning bolt, and the dead eye. The middle part is the core. The outside is the the not core. I forgot what it was called. I think it's called um. What is it called here? Fortifies. So the fortifies a little bit different. So let's go ahead and eat. We need to eat something. Eat some baked beans. Maybe get our health back up. Because our overall health is just really, really poor at the moment. Let's just eat one more thing here. Should we eat some corn? I need something hearty. Like a hearty meal. Some more canned kidney beans. Alright. So we look pretty cool. I think I might buy this in my actual playthrough that I'm doing. What do you guys think? Cool outfit? You really need to have your gun out. Yeah, I do, because I'm a gunslinger. Let's go ahead and let's actually not have any gun going in. Well, let's make sure to put on our mask as soon as we go in. So. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm back again. Hold there we go. Hello, doctor. Rob register, Rob back room. Let's rob back room. Back room of yours, right now. Back room, Sir, please. Please, you don't want to get involved with them. I promise you. Oh, I'll tell you what I do or don't want to do. But you're a dead man. So let's escort him here. Go. We kind of want to. I think we want to stay out of sight here. Uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you, fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. It's only the duck, huh? Don't <laughs> try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Are ya? All right. Well, Doc, it's been a pleasure. I'm gonna go ahead and take it from here. All right. Don't feel bad. They're probably bad men. Looks like a nice. Here's Johnny. Got going back here. Ow. Oh God. You good? Please, don't kill me. You tell the cops they shot me. Oh, lady! I was gonna keep you alive. What's your problem? Oh, they got a wall safe over here. Doesn't look like we got the proper tools to open that up. Let's go ahead and loot this. Or loot her. Thank you, lady. Now, there's a lockbox here. Let's go ahead and search it. My accuracy went to hell, so your accuracy, depending on your stats, can be really, really bad. Also, my accuracy in general right there wasn't the greatest. Besides, I mean, I took, took out the first two guys pretty nicely. Alright, so this is their side business over here. They got some rum, they got a bunch of stuff here. We got another lockbox here. Weapon. Weapon case. That lady was savage. She tried it. She went for it. We have a new weapon here. There's like 70 weapons. Oh, shoot. Oh, God! Is this a new revolver? Oh, it is the show field. Perfect. Well, officer, you gave me the perfect time to test it out, didn't you? Why'd you have to walk up on me like that? Not a nice thing to do. Let's go ahead and take a miracle tonic and get out there. I think we're gonna have some people waiting for us. All right. Pardon me. Wait. I just gotta go ahead and rob the register. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh. Sir, why are you holding your gun like that? Why are you holding your gun like that? Oh. Get the frick out of my face. Damn, son. We got two right there. Get that headshot. Get that headshot there. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That'll do that. There's that. Oh. Run through him like a train. 
What do you want, bro? There we go. Headshot for him. Headshot for him, too. Perfect. So if we wanted to, we could escape right now. I'm trying to be a good guy in my playthrough, so... Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, no, they closed up the bank almost immediately. The horses are going wild. They don't like all this action. The dual wielding is so awesome. I absolutely love it. The first person look is incredible, too. I left money on the table. Again, I'm not trying to, to do it for an actual playthrough like this. There is some stacks. There's some money over here. Let's see how much money. So if you were to rob this place, and you were to grab some money, how much money would it be? $50. That's not bad at all. I mean, all that work to get that one horse, and we only got $5 out of it, or $2 or something. Oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yikes! Oof. Oh, that was mean. You'll never take me alive. You'll never take me alive. You hear me? Oh, gosh. I'll tackle you off your horse. Oh. Oh. Slapped him with a gun. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah! There you go. I think we got the town on lockdown pretty much. That's what you gotta do. You wanna command respect around these parts. Took that guy out. Out. We're getting surrounded now. This is our last limb. This is our last life. Take that guy out too. Oh, I'm just eating buckshots to the head right now. Ooh. I will survive. Hup. Oh. Shot me in the left kidney. Just kidding. All right. Take one of them hostage. You can take people hostage. I don't remember how to do it, though. It's not something that was, at least to my knowledge, explained. So I think with all this negativity we've been doing here, we gotta do some positivity. Let's go ahead and collect the bounty. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and load up my story. Just because this is actually something I wanna do for my save. So let's go ahead and load that up. And then we'll go ahead and head over to the bounty poster and start that. After that, we'll probably do some hunting or some fishing. Maybe fishing first, because I didn't get to show that in the last one. And then we'll do anything else you guys can think of. So we could rob stagecoaches. We could rob trains. We can try to go into one of the more popular towns and check out what's there. We can try to solve a treasure. All that stuff. So let's go ahead... And let's head into here. And there should be a new bounty for us. Our very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. All right. So bounties will pop up over here. We're going to inspect this here. $25 reward. Nasty individual. Ellie Ann Swan. A reward of $25 will be paid for the arrest of Ellie Ann Swan, wanted for the crime of matricide. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner. Wanted alive for questioning. So then it shows the location as well. Let's go ahead and flip it if there's anything on the back. Nothing. Let's put this away. That one. There we go. And let's just activate our autosave. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. All right. They say she ain't sleeping alone. Huh. All right. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's get our horse and let's go ahead and open up her map and check out where she is. So apparently she's over here. Let's go ahead and mark it. And going over, it gives you some more details. She's reported to have an unknown male accomplice. So we have to apprehend her alive. Very specific. This isn't a dead or alive job. This is specifically, you must apprehend her alive. So that means we're going to have to get the lasso ready. Let's go ahead and head over in that direction. Following the path directly, sometimes is a good idea, especially in treacherous terrain, but 
In this instance, I'm pretty sure we could jet essentially towards the marker and be okay. I think we can make that call. Your outfit's gone? Yeah, I can buy the outfit again if you guys like. Let me know your thoughts. We're gonna head down by the river now. Anything you want to see in this free roam gameplay, do be sure to let me know in chat. Are we able to go through the water here? Yep. Oh, there we go. Easy, easy. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck around here. Oh, don't worry. I ain't looking for gold. Look at the horse sitting over there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Maybe I should wait and see if you find any gold, huh? Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will Oh, getting a little upset, man. Um, just curious is all. No need to get rattled. I just want to see what you're getting here. Is that all right? I realize this actually isn't the location I need to be at. <laughs> we just disturbed this guy who's trying to look for gold. I wish you all the best, fella. I'll be on my way. Imagine you stay there long enough, he actually finds something, and you can rob him. Ooh, that's deeper than I thought. It's a falcon scream or something. It's an aggressive sounding bird. Let's head here down by the water. Ooh, there we go. Bit of a jump. Nothing too crazy for a horse. El Jefe, calm down. He's a little bit spooked. It's all right. It's okay to get spooked yeah. sometimes. All right, so this bounty should be in this area. Locate Ellie and Swan. She's wanted alive. Oh, look at this. There's an elk over here. Let's go ahead and study it. Rocky Mountain Bull Elk. Two star. Oh. All right, so we got to... I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Oh. Oh! Dude, you stabbed him in the neck. Are you kidding me? Holy shoot, get on the ground. Just stab that dude. Goodness gracious. Poor guy. What loot he's got, though. Goodness. What are the fire physics like? Does it, will this work if I... I don't want to take the cheese. I want to drop them. Oh, we got a lot of food in my way, apparently. Oh, a lot of canned salmon and stuff. Can I just drop them? There we go. Oh. Okay, let me... I guess we'll tr we'll try it a different time. There's like cheese and a bunch of other stuff in the way apparently. Won't let me drop them. Kind of weird that I won't let you drop them. Let's just take the ground coffee then. What else? Lady, stop. Oh, what did I just do? Take the apple. You guys are having a feast over here. Canned salmon. All right, now we can put his body. I'm doing this for science. Come on, dude. Can we huck him into the fire? Hup! Oh. Oh! Oh, snap! That's creepy. Oh, wow! I don't know nothing about that, but... Looks kind of realistic, don't it? All right, we gotta pick you up. Let's loot you first. What you got on you? This is. Uh, oh wow. Kind of you. Hold up. Wow. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and pick her up. Come on, man. You me. She 
is a bit of a feisty one, isn't she? Let's go ahead and put her on my horse. Still, we're on the back over here. This could get bumpy. Settle in. There we go. You got a ride ahead of you. All right. I wish there was a way to quick take off markers on your map that you put down. Oh, that was a massive leap. The only way to do it right now is either take it out from. Oh, I could hit her randomly. Oh dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? Oh boy. It's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood yeah. everywhere. It won't come out. You want me to believe you? I'm a good girl. Really. You're a good girl. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? I most certainly do not. I don't believe you, not even a little bit. I feel like she's pulled that one one too many times. Maybe, if you're that crazy. Yeah, give me a second, lady. I gotta use my, my bow to try to take out this. Yeah! Oh! Give me help, Mister. All right, I'm gonna. Please. Quiet, lady. Save me. Be quiet with. Oh my gosh. All right. I think he's a three-star one. So if we take this, my theory is correct. So tough and burly. Yeah, lady. If I had a strong man like you, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be in this mess. My Whatever man, makes you happy, lady. Perfect me. buck pelt. That's oh shoot! Can I stow it, lady? You gotta now move, please. There you go. Situation. Didn't but I ask you to be quiet already? Like you, you'd set me straight. Oh, you be, me? lady. This the, mm. you're looking for. <laughs> this the help you're looking for? Goodness. God love Arthur Morgan. He's a character. Are you kidding me? I wish I'd cut your belly up. I ain't falling for it. <laughs> she's uh there's definitely something wrong with her. Let's just throw that out there. I don't think she's normal. Man or a woman, they're getting hit if they're trying to convince me that they didn't murder when I saw them do it. You got antlers too, finally killed a male? We learning out here, man. We learning. All right. Let's bring her to the sheriff's office. If this was 2018, she'd probably be treated a lot differently. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. So she wanted me to take care of her. Then she wanted to kill me. She needs some help. But I am not the one to give her that help. Go. Hopefully the jail system will. Rehabilitator. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I'll All right. My innocence. I'll protest my innocence. I'm literally a witness. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope She's you like a mass murderer. Miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk. She's here. killed like every man she's ever been with. All right, where's the money? Oh, he's getting some money from there. Ooh, that's good to know that the money's, uh, money store there, huh, Sheriff? The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So, it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. That it, it does. Time off posting bounties impose law and order on the streets. Okay. That man has a heart of stone. 
It's oh. silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. She's literally gonna murder Let you, dude. Out. Don't so listen to her. Exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. Yep. It's so boring in here. Goodness gracious. Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. Yeah, or else you'd be freaking. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets. Ooh. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria. Don't you dare mention Moira again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Aw. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. I'm here with the sheriff just in case he gets a little they can crazy. They say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> Don't know if she did, Sheriff. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna get out of here, though. You deal with the crazy lady. I had enough of that. She's really trying to get out. She's really, really trying to get out. All right. Let's hitch up our horse. Is there a... So there's poker you can play. There's poker over there. There's five... I believe there's five finger filet over here. So this is a second bar. That you can get to. And if you wanted to play the game of five finger filet. I, I played it a little bit earlier in a walkthrough I haven't uploaded yet. You game? But it's a little bit simple. I just want to explain it real quick. It gets way tough if you continue it. So we're just going to do one here quick. So if we go ahead and press play, 50 cents, we can hold RT and look at him, I believe, when he's doing it. So you can see the pattern. So you have to X circle, X circle, X circle, X circle, X circle. Somebody get the floor Damn it. And, stop moving. and if you mess up, you stab yourself. It's on you. There we go. So all we got to do is do it real quick. So X circle, X circle. There we go. Done. With two seconds to spare. But they get increasingly harder so there's different combinations so it could be like square circle triangle square circle and then it could rotate back and you have to do two laps so this one i got to do two laps as well and you can see this one is just all squares so this is the the easiest one but the one that you're also going to make the least amount of money so all we got to do i believe what was this one again square okay so just spam it and we're good with two seconds to spare. Kind of Wins boring. the one dollar pot. I'm taking what's left of my favorite. And when you do that, new opponent comes See? in and they bet more money, but you. they get harder. So just a little bit Might of an explanation well and a bit bit of a game I wanted to show you in case Mind you were interested in the uh, the mini games available. There's also Next poker, which a lot of you know. Just let me know what you want to eat or drink. You could order some food from the bar. You could get a drink. You gotta be careful. You bump into people, they could get mad. Lots of drunkards around here. So I think what we do... Which one's mine? Oh. Oh, don't buck. Oh, I just made him run away. Alright, let's hitch up our horse. Let's get a room for the night. See so yeah, there's there's poker and there's a barber in there that you could go to. But I want to hitch up my horse here. Get a room for the night. Get a new outfit. And then... And then what should we do? Should we do hunting or fishing, chat? Let me know. And again, if you're watching and enjoy this, do be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And if you want to stay tuned Hello, to when uh, I upload new one of these, make sure to turn on those post notifications by smacking the bell. So, two a, a dollar. Range. Let's rent a room. Head on up. We actually probably could use a... We could use a really quick bath. We're really dirty. So, the I way you do bath. a quick bath here, okay. Can you if you want to do that, I got you literally just go in here. You scrub your head, you decline the deluxe, and then you're clean. Essentially, you're clean right off the bat when you get into the bath here. So I think you could leave, and that's something that we should test. So let's exit. A lot of you saying fishing, a lot of you saying hunting. Some saying rob a train. But you can see that was quick. Quickest way to clean yourself. There you go. Alright, let's head on up. I do kind of want to return to camp with that perfect pelt. And give it in right. because then we could craft stuff. There's some really cool stuff you could craft for your camp. But first, let's get some rest. Here you could change your wardrobe to the left. 
There's a dresser, so you can do that there. But I'm going to go ahead and get to bed. So you can choose how long you want to sleep. You can sleep till noon, evening, night. We're going to sleep till noon. And that recharges some of your cores. Again, you want to keep those cores up because uh, those are essentially how you're living out here. Again, it's a little confusing, but as you play, you learn more. So the first time I played, I didn't understand any of it. As I played more and more hours, I've come to understand a bit of what makes what. There we go. All right, so let's go buy a new outfit. Let's buy that outfit that we were wearing before we went on that rampage. And then I did. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hope you won't be stirring up more trouble around here. I won't be. I like how I just say thanks. Got to be careful not to knock into anybody. People don't take that too kindly. All right. So I'd like to browse your catalog, please. And let's go over to clothing. Outfits. And I like this outfit, so let's go ahead and buy that. There we go, looking sweet. So this outfit is suitable for hot temperatures. That's also very good to know, because if you go into the cold, you're gonna need something that's warmer. If you go into really, really hot temperatures, you're gonna need something that's different. So what you wear is pretty important. Let's go ahead and buy that. Let's go back to the catalog, and let's go ahead and go to see there was some fishing supplies we can get some live worms medium-sized river fish hmm let's get some live oh this item's locked we can't get those lake lure attracts all medium and large sized lake fish uh -huh. okay so let's buy a couple of those let's see if we can max out on those there we go we max out on those good doing business with you buy some live worms they actually sold out on them we can get some herbivore bait if we wanted to enjoy Maybe get some arrows. There we go. These are all good. Get some uh, varmint it's rifle cartridges. There's also shotgun shells. A bunch of different stuff that you could buy. So let's go ahead and let's close up that book. There you go. Thank you. Keep looking. Let me know if there's anything else. All right. I'm digging our new outfit. I'm digging our beard too, but we could definitely change our beard and our hair if we wanted to let's make our way over here to our horse oh goodness whoa 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 oh you want a duel Challenge to a duel. Sure, I'll shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. All right, get into dueling position. Uh, I would suggest you men in the back move. And you probably in the back move as well. All right, dueling position. Oh, goodness. Slowly hold RT to draw. Oh wow. He's missing an eye hole. And there we go. Yeah. Yeah, he's missing uh I can loot him, right? There you go. I think I get both. I think that's uh It's not stealing if they're dead. I wanted a duel. That's that's some Oh, somebody's going to report my crime. Slip your mind it wasn't a crime. I'm telling you it wasn't a crime. The butcher. Can we... Actually, let's go ahead. Let's get onto our horse here. We've done a lot of things in this, uh, this free roam session so far. I'm enjoying it. But I think that now we should make our way over to camp. Make our way over to camp. And then we can go fishing for large lake fish. Or we can go rob a train. So... I think we have three things top priority on the list right now. We could also, I believe, sell things. Yeah, sell illegal stuff at the fence. So you could be selling wagons. You could sell unique heirlooms. You could just sell the gold that we found the last episode. 
All of that is possible. So fishing, hunting, illegal stuff, or rob a train. Let me know your thoughts in chat. We're going to go give this pelt in, though, because, again, it is a perfect pelt. They don't come by too often. So you got to make sure that when you do find them, you give them in. Or you use them for specific crafting purposes. What did I just lock onto? Here's something. All right, let's follow the trail here. Yeah. So most of the time, if you do want to check what uh, what quality their pelt is, if you've already studied them, I believe if you just aim at them, it'll show you what quality pelts they have. A lot of you saying rob a train. All right, we'll rob a train. That's what we're gonna go up to now. So aiming at those birds, they're, they're two stars. So you could rob them. I mean, you could, could kill them. That's a level one. That's a level, oh, that's a level three. I, I hit him twice. That might have reduced the pellet quality. I'm not 100% sure. I think it should be okay. Ah, uh, it's a one. Yeah, I think you have to use a bow and arrow on those. Even a small game bow and arrow. But every time I use those, it really, really doesn't work. I, I swear. There's no damage. That's a one star. bring this pelt to camp. It's just me, Arthur. Come on now. As we pull up into camp here, you can upgrade your camp, which is pretty sweet. And I can show you how to do that in a second. But again, I don't want to do any spoilers, so some of you consider that a spoiler, I guess. I'm not going to do it. With the lower classes. Let's go ahead and see if we can give the pelt in here. You are too hard on so donate. Right. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. We got a perfect buck pelt over here, so let's go ahead and donate that in. Ah, now I could turn this into something special. Let's give him buck antlers as well. Anything else we could give? We can give game meat. Game meat wouldn't be bad. Mature venison meat. Scent glands. I'm gonna give that to him. Really don't want scent glands. But you can see you can do crafting upgrades now. So now that we have perfect buck pelt, we just need a deer pelt and an elk pelt that's perfect. And we could upgrade that or we could buy that. And you can see the little preview of them here too. And then you could also change the way stuff looks by getting different perfect pelts or different parts of the animal. So really neat. Really, really neat. If you got the moose antlers, you can put them on the tree. Thanks, All that good stuff. And the way that you get those leather working tools is you have to go over here to the ledger, which I'm just going to show you real quick. Hello. And you have to hold square here. Go to the ledger. And you can purchase things in the ledger based on the funds that the camp has. So you can actually get better medicine. You get better provisions. You get ammunition and arms, repeater ammo and arrows. You could get... Um, Dutch wants something comfier, comfier, so you can get better lodging. You get a horse station for 240, chicken coop for 140, leather working tools for 180. So that is there if you're confused and don't know where that is. Simple as pie. All right. So let's go ahead and save real quick because we're going to go rob a train. So let's go story. Save game. And save over this lot here. So we're about 30% done the game. It's a little bit scary. I don't think that's for like 100% do everything in the game completion. I think that's for the most general of completions. So that makes me pretty happy to say the least. Maybe we could grab some food here before we leave. There we go. Stew bowl. When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. Stew is good though. Restore some of your stuff. There we go. Look at that. Drink that stew. And then if you wanted to restore your dead eye, you could go over here to the coffee. 
and pour yourself some coffee and drink that. So I think I'm ready to rob a train. What do you think, chat? You and me both. See everybody saying to rob a train. Let's drink and you can see. I think our dead eye cores is what goes up. So you won't notice anything superficially here when we drink it. But that main core is already filled. So let's go ahead and throw that. All right. We saved. We're ready to go. Now we got to go find a train. Simple as that. Or is it that simple? Now what we can do here is just head over to the flat next station. We can wait at like Bard's Crossing. But we kind of want to get it between stations. So it even might be better to wait like here in this sort of three point crossroads. We're going to go fishing and hunting specifically still. So don't you worry. You haven't missed it if you just tuned in. Or if you've been watching this far and haven't been paying attention. Yep. So what's helpful here is... Since we got all these train tracks splitting... Well, we should. Yeah, there we go. We'd hear the train if we just sit right here. The train can come from any which angle. While we're here, we can see if we can explore a little bit. Maybe we can grab a scrapper bow, just in case we can hunt. And let's see if we can grab a varmint rifle as well. See if we can get a clean shot on something. I like, I prefer the bow. Again, you can get different types of arrows and stuff. So I've loaded up a small game arrow. So it honestly, doesn't seem to work all that well. At least not on bunnies. Let's see if we can see any wildlife here. I don't know how often the trains come through. But to my knowledge, they're actually pretty frequent. What's also cool, which I wanted to show you, which I didn't know from the last episode, is if we go over here to the... Is it horse cargo? I don't think it's horse cargo. No, but if you go to here, I believe, where is it? I had the option before, but you can actually change your, oh, there you go. If you go on your horse, you can change Arthur's hat, legendary bear head hat, big valley hat. So this, this is the big valley hat I got on right now. Apparently it's not actually on. So you can put on Arthur's hat. There we go. You can put on the bear hat. There we go. And then you could also put on that other hat. The third option there. The Big Valley hat. There we go. That's the one that comes with this outfit. There's actually a carriage over there. Why don't we steal the carriage instead of waiting around? We can get this uh, bandana here. It's a full face bandana, which I'm not too proud, fond of. We can get the normal bandana over here. There we go. And while we're at it too. Let's put on that hat again. Let's put on Arthur's hat. I actually like his the best. There we go. I think it suits him the most. Easy way to rob these if you want to. Very simply. I Can you jump to them? Oh, jump to wagon. Look at that. No, no. Keep going. Keep going. Jump to wagon. Yeah! I'm going to steal this if you don't mind. There you go. Get the heck out of my face, dude. There we go. Anybody else? Enemies were led to camp. I've never had that happen before. I've never, ever had that happen before. Was that a lawman that I jumped? I've actually never stolen one of those before, so... Never stolen uh, one of those cards before, so wouldn't know. All right. I'll... Good morning, dude. All right. I want to rob a train. I also want to rob one of the cards, but I think doing crimes too close to your camp, definitely not a good idea. Let's get moving. Last sewing him would have been a good idea for sure.
All right, let's figure out where this train is. We need to find a choo-choo train. The easiest way to find one is simply to buy a train ticket. One appears almost instantaneously. But I also don't think it's the same train as, say, one that carries a lot of loot in it, right? I don't know, but I don't think so. Robbing a train is big business, let me tell you. Oh. It's a noise. Oh, these canisters here. These carry oil. You can actually shoot them. And I believe the oil leaks out. Cornwall oil train. So that's a one star jackrabbit. Again, it's just good to aim and see because you need those perfect pelts for a lot of different things. So wouldn't be a bad idea to start collecting them as soon as you can, really. They seem to have a campfire over here. Oh, it's just one guy. Is that a train that I see? I don't think that's a train that I see, but let's take out the binoculars. Could be, right? Nope, doesn't look like it. In the meantime... That was really loud. <laughs> I didn't mean to be that loud. Where's my knife? Did they rob me? Is it on my horse? Oh, it's fine, dude. You don't even see me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Holy smokes. Um. I'm going to just take your beats. That's cool. Take your beast and get out of here. Sorry about that. I would say I didn't mean it, but kind of did. We just tackled him into a fire. So there's that. Oh, there's our knife. I forgot it was there. All right, let's get our bow out and then also our varmint rifle. So look at this prog horn over here. We actually haven't studied them, so we can't see their stats on them yet. But if we get a little bit closer to this one. There we go. It's American prog horn. If we were to bow this one. Which one's the rare one here? That one's a one star. That one's a one star. Well, the other one that was in the group here was not the one star, so. Oh. Don't understand That's a stranger over there. We're gonna leave him alone. <coughs> Let's head over to this bridge, I think, personally. Let's hope to see a train at some point here. So this is kind of the Blackwater direction. It's very windy up here. Lots of birds. That's for sure. Now, where did we see... Because I've seen trains before. I've seen trains that go all the way into, like, roads. And down into here. So, it might be beneficial to go the other way. Or, I mean, we could go really either way. I just say, like, if we don't see a train in the next minute or so, we can go to a train station, yeah? West Elizabeth. Right along the tracks here. And we can call a train. I think that might be the easier way of doing it. Okay. Just, 
It's all lies. Yeah, right, buddy. You're gonna get busted. Welcome, all right, dude. Welcome. Let's buy a train ticket. And let's take this train ticket all the way to... I don't even know where Ansberg is, but we're gonna get a train ticket to go there. See you again soon. All right, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, with the train again, I'm not sure if this is a different train than the ones that you randomly spot throughout the world. Those could possibly be containing more loot. Very well. This one, I believe, is just a fast travel route. And with that fast travel route, you can wait for the train to get off at the end. And you can go ahead and hop on it after. This town might be Wanda, though, the one that I'm at. I also wanted to show you something really cool with trains. So what we're going to need to do if we're on the train is hop off the train, get our horse. I don't know if our horse followed us all the way through, but... There we go. We're pulling up. What a place. Love the train in this game, by the way. Looks dope. I don't think I've been to this town. Truth be told. Looks like one of those model trains. Look at that. All right, I think our horse is here. So what we're gonna do is hop off the train here. This is a passenger train, so I believe there's trains that, you know, carry other stuff. They can carry valuable goods and are just not just passenger trains only. So what we're gonna do here is get on our horse. We're gonna wait for the train to take off. And then we're going to go ahead and get to it. Oh, there's a steamboat in the water. Look at that. Oh, this is real cool. Where are we right now? Oh, wow. Yeah, we haven't been here before, as you can see. We're just like a small blip in the middle of the map. So we're just going to wait for the train to go. We can chill in town. I mean, I'm sure it'll whistle as it's going. It'd be cool to kind of explore this town, too. Mine entrance. This is a mining town. Look at the air quality. Probably not very good. A sheriff's office. Listen to me. Got a gun store. Listen to me. We got another train here. Out of the damn way. You got a boat over there you could take. Probably some prop oh goodness gracious. Probably some proper fishing that you could do. If you got out on that boat, right? You would think so, at least. Maybe we should... Let's go ahead and... Oh! Told ya! It makes itself known when it's starting to take off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something really cool if you want to be a train robber. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put on our bandana. Make sure that both our guns are equipped here. Hop on our horse. Wait for it to pass here. We don't even have to necessarily wait for it to pass, but... There you go. You can see they have an armed guard at the back. Let's go ahead and chase it for a little bit. I mean, he definitely thinks there's something suspect about this, I'm sure. I think you'll be leaving that. Yep. So what you can do is run up along the train. And then jump to the train. Yeah! When you jump to the train, you can now walk on top of it or do basically anything you want. So let's hop down here. Hey. Oh, I think he's looking at us. Uh, this is awkward. I'm gonna end you. What da da da? Oh. You ain't the first man I killed. Yeah, the ah. first man to shoot throwing knives at you though. All right, so back here, this is like the employee section or something. They must be hiding something in here, right? Rifle cartridges. Some pistol cartridges. That's about that there. Go over here, there's some more pistol cartridges. There seems to be canned vegetables, health cure. Every now, you son of a bitch. Oh. To... Oh, shoot, Bobby. Oh, the train's moving. 
Oh, how do I shot his hat off. Oh, now I'm wanted. All right, so what we came for is like this. Oh, somebody stopped the train. You can't. You gotta be kidding me. There is uh, ammunition in there. Oh shoot! Somebody's come to investigate. You'll see me somewhere. I said you'll see me somewhere. Oh, they are leaking. They are leaking. Alright, so there's some loot there, definitely. Not a whole lot, to my knowledge. Let's go to the front carriages. There's probably stuff that I'm missing a ton of it, but... Like, do people just have randomly... Doesn't seem to be ran... Oh, they got the whole army coming after me over here. Oh, not making a break. Not really, at least. This is a big old train. Oh, is there a chest there? Oh, there's a big old chest here. What's in here? Oh, a coin purse. How much is in here? A dollar seventy-one. Definitely not worth it there. Oh, gosh. Let's go a little bit more forward. We're gonna have to be a little sloppy with this one. Oh, really? Okay. Let's take care of that. And while we're at it, there we go. All right, drive this train. Let's go. Go! Goodness, don't stand in the middle, bro. You're shooting at the train itself. Oh, now you're gonna shoot me. Ow. We out of here. Oh, that's a beautiful place to fish. Look at that. Grand Theft Train. Chugga, 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 chugga. You gonna just chase me the whole time? Try to catch me. You ain't got nothing on me. Nothing, you lawful. They're really about chasing me though, huh? Yeah, they ain't gonna forget about me. Let's just say that. A oh, nice little random house here. There's probably some loot in there. Oh, we're going through a tunnel. Move it. Get out of the way. He's still running on the track. Move it. He's still running. Oh, no. Oh, we're catching up to the little guy. No. Run faster! You can do it! He's doing it. He's doing it. We're good. We ain't gonna run him over, I don't think. He just... There you go. Go to the side of the road. Oh, no! You're back on it! <laughs> oh, no! It's so close. Oh, there you go. See you later, buddy. Oh, and he zigzags back onto the track. Move it, bucko. Where are we right now? We're going to go into the Grizzlies, essentially. Oh, we're, we're doing a full loop back. That's what it is. Full bail out the train. Oh, we got away at least. Train's gonna come to a. Oh, I missed the jump. Oh, pardon me. Oh goodness. All right. So now we're out in the wilderness. With nothing going on here. But the beautiful world that encompasses us, that surrounds us. The wild, wild west. Probably bears and stuff. Oh, goodness. 
There's definitely bears and stuff here. Oh, goodness. It's a little slippery. Just a little bit. We haven't seen any creatures yet. Look at that. Oh, if I've seen a lake. This is a lake. Oh, this is where we took out the, the bear, isn't it? This is where we took out the legendary bear. We got a house over here, too. I'm a little curious. I hear turkey. I'm out of stamina, sir. Wait, hold up. Yeah! No, hold up. Hold up. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 we good. We good, horsies. Hold up. Oh, I don't want none. Oh, I really don't know. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Stay back now. Yeah. Wow. That gray wolf really came at me, huh? Let's see. What kind of money do you have on here? Let's see if these are worth it. And I believe you could sell these to the guys. So this has... I go, let go first person here. So this has gun oil in here. And it looks like a lot of tools, but essentially you can't grab those. So there's also a lockbox here. Could be worth it. If you if you want to be a, a bandit, could be very profitable. Could very well be very profitable. Oh, we have a witness here. Hello, sir. What in God's name happened here? Yeet! Fillet you! What you want? You good? Not anymore, you ain't. So if we want to, we get, that guy still. He got straight up knife though, huh? Oh, come on. Get that guy out there. And then we got our very own stagecoach. They kind of frown upon that, though, don't they? They kind of frown upon it a little bit. Just a little bit. We can go ahead and do the wagon fence here. So let's see how much money something like this would give us. Yep. Let's head there. So we'll go ahead and drop this off. And then once we do that, we can go ahead and load up our save. And go fishing or go hunting. And we can go in a big lake for the fish. Because we want to catch some really big ones, right? I think that would be a good idea. I don't think there's any stamina cap to these, these horses here. So you can just whip it all day. Or you can hold it. Just holding it. Um, dude. Oh, wow. Someone help me! Yes, do it. Do it. You want me to finish you off? Give health care, give whiskey. Are you going to be all right? Got some medicine. Better than nothing. Damn it, that won't help. Look at me. Um, I'm bleeding out here. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Can't, can't, stay, can't hold. You want me to do it? So I actually gained honor by doing that. Guess his wounds were so bad, that was the most honorable thing to do in that case. Where the heck's my stagecoach? It's missing. Gosh darn it. Give me a break. I'm gonna go help this guy in a lot. Oh, there it is. They kept wheeling down the road. All right, up here we go. Let's go ahead and bring this in. Let's see how much money this gives us. That's super sad, but I mean, this is the Wild West. 
probably no doctor in the world that could save him during this time. Although, I mean, I, I did watch The Revenant. That bear messed up Leonardo DiCaprio pretty bad. But I mean, that was a couple months until he was okay, you know? I like Loki, want to drive this thing off a cliff. There's a bunch of wild birds here. Looks like we still got a bounty. I forgot what we did last. New Hanover. Bounty of $116. I guess I did something bad. I don't remember what I did. Oh, I robbed a train. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad, actually. Probably don't like when you rob trains and stuff. Canoe and fish. Should we just go find a big lake and do that? I think I know the perfect one. I want to see how much this sells for, though. Just out of curiosity, I'm not going to save. Because I'm going for a... A lob ringer type of playthrough. Off the bat. So we don't want to do that. But over here, you can sell illegal things. He takes some of the shadier things off your hand that you collect throughout this game. I believe we can just drive this into the barn. Oh, there you go. Yeah, open both up. Both doors, please. Thank you. How much would you give me for this? I'm curious. I'm guessing at least like $20, right? At least 20 bucks. That's two horses and a stagecoach. That's fine. I'm buying. Here you go. How much is that? See you again soon. 25 bucks. This That's not too bad. Folk here got no time for masks. All right. My bad. Let me, um... Uh... Hmm? Miss me? So if we wanted to sell stuff, we could okay, go to him. Let's see. We could sell all our contraband, which includes... Includes our bar of gold, which he'll buy for $500. So we definitely got to do this on our, our playthrough. Make sure we sell it over here. Large jewelry bag. And is he is he selling? Let's see what he can we can buy off of him. So we could buy dynamite, tomahawk, machete, hatchet, cleaver, baked beans, moonshine, herbivore bait, metal skull mask? What? Executioner hood? Psycho mask? Homing tomahawk pamphlet? Alright. Okay then. Okay, we can just try it on like this then. Alright, so there's this one here. I think that's the executioner mask. You seen what you look like? Yeah. Uh you actually sold me it there, so. Big on you there, Chief. Let's go canvas sack hood. All right, there's this one. We look like a Star Wars character. What else? So you don't unlock this guy unless you do some snake missions, just so you know. Or some, some, <laughs> sorry. Unless you do some main story mission. There's a lock breaker here. I've never seen that before. Metal skull mask. Oh, wow. Oh, that's creepy. That is so creepy. Well, let's go ahead and check out the last one. The last one was the Psycho Mask. Okay, that is sick. Right. Not a word, to wake. Not a word, huh? Nor no one else. Well, now, now. Give me your money. Do anything rash here, huh? Give me your money. I'm gonna take you hostage. Stop! This must be a misunderstanding. <laughs> Not quite. Nope, 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 nothing to do with me. Oh, oh, you mother Please trucker. Do this. See, miss, I'm sorry I shot you. I'm, I'm sorry I stopped you, man. Just, he's the only witness to the crime. Stop, damn it. Just stop for a second. Uh, now you hear me? I'm sorry. God damn, idiot. What was this on the road? Oh! 
It's a rotten rodent. Lock break makes you able to open safes. All right, we're gonna. Never mind. We can't. We can't. <laughs> we can't test that out. We cannot test that out. All right. Let's go ahead and load up, and let's try some fishing. Let's try some fishing. Again, if you're watching and enjoying this, you want to see more, hit that like button. But most importantly, if you are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And if you do not want to miss out on future videos, hit the little bell beside it. Turn on those post notifications. Would really appreciate it. Big shout out to all of you. TG, what's wrong with you? I'm just doing whatever because I'm just going to load and nothing that we did there was actually going to count. So there's that. How did I get the gold? I found it in like a burnt area. Okay, perfect. Now we're back at camp. Everything's all good. None of our uh, horrible things we did will be counted, so. Let's go ahead and autosave here. I do want to get that mask though. So we're going to go fishing and hunting. Anything else you want to see, let me know in chat. And if I don't get into this stream, make sure to leave a comment on the video and let me know what you want to see. So we're going to go ahead and head to... I think we'll head to this giant lake over here. So we'll head right over here. I know there's a boat that we can get onto. Might be a good spot to go fish. And there's actually some legendary fish in the game, believe it or not. But I believe every type of fish has a legendary counterpart to it. So you gotta be a master fisher. You have to be a bait master to get those done. Actually, for those of you curious of where the gold I found was yep. in your own playthrough, an easy $500 once you get that guy. You simply come into this camp over here. Don't do that. No, I'm all muddy now, aren't I? Oh no, I didn't get all the money. You okay, Horsey? I'm sorry, buddy. On, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You know that. There's a treasure map in there, if you look close enough. And if you inspect the sheriff office right here, I'll show you where it is on the map in a second. And you go under the desk, you will see this lockbox, which you can get, go and grab a bar of gold. So where is that on the mask map, you say? It is right over here. Valentine up to the north. Go a little bit south. I'm going to zoom in slowly for you. Right in the lymphony. There you go. Okay, let's get over to that marker. Again, this is my good playthrough, so we got to be careful. We got to clean our horse, too. We got a bit muddy from that. Uh... You discovered the location of a legendary fish. Someone living near Flat Iron Lake is known for their interest in fish. So, apparently... The legendary fish is somewhere here, and somebody that lives near Flatiron Lake knows something or two about fishies. And he can tell us about the legendary one. We're not going to do the legendary one right now, though. I imagine it might be the stranger quest near here. Who knows? Look at these guys here, the Proghorn. Let's study them. There we go, American Pronghorn Doe. Let's get to collect information about him. That's a two star. Oh, somebody's setting up a camp over here. They might know something about it. I mean, I wouldn't mind catching a legendary fish. Oh, he's a fisherman for sure. Ah, oh, no way. Pat him. Oh, pet the puppy. Oh my gosh. So what brings you to these? Oh, he's so cute, buddy! Oh, he's not wagging his tail, though. Oh, there you go. Okay, but... Oh, that's a great first-person view right there. Oh, you're a good boy. I guess you could call it a religion. Obsessed with turtles, which maybe should have struck me stranger sooner. Oh, it's okay, doggy. You wouldn't believe it. Folk always say I'm too trust. I mean, I don't know you from Adam, and here you are sitting at my fire. 
Anyway, I'm more or less handing my life over to them. I met a very persuasive fella in San Denis. Andres, his name was. And he caught me at a bad time. Okay. Hell of a thing, right? You just keep talking, don't you? I've been given over to some poor living, real poor living, kind of behavior the devil himself would be ashamed of. They promised me safety, salvation, paradise, all very appealing to a fellow like me. Fair enough. Got to the point where I'd given them every cent I had, and I was ready to follow them off a cliff. I just got out in time. Maybe it was the turtles, or maybe it was just I didn't have the spine to go through with it. Maybe it was the turtles. Now looking back, the things we'll do for answers, huh? Yeah, man. Anyway, sorry to ramble on. I should get back to it. All right, man. I want to respond, but it doesn't let me. You know, shit, you must have one of them familiar faces. What kind of dog are you? He's a Labrador Retriever. I want him. Reckon you're confusing me with someone else, friend. This ain't good. I want nothing to do with this. No, 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 no. Can I have your dog? Can I have your dog? Don't leave your dog behind. Dude. All the best to you, friend. No doggy. Look out there. Aw. All right. I guess. I wonder if there's any, like, clues or something to the legendary fish. Cut down to carcass. Yeah. Pick up a fish. Yeah. What am I going to do with a fish? Oh. Sockeye salmon. I love me some sockeye salmon. I really do. Sleep in the bedroll. All right. Oh, our horse is all dirty. I feel bad. Let's go ahead and brush him. We have to do a bit of brushing here. Yeah. Clean all that off of you. There you go. Oh, you looking real nice now. You got a pristine coat, don't you? Let's feed you a little bit too, buddy. Oh, we fed him some hay. Come on now, boy. All right. Let's get over here. Look at these giant pillars. Oh, there's some wild horses around here. What is that down there? Oh, is that a, uh... I honestly don't know what that is. I think that might be just a, a white tail buck. Get on out of here, buddy. Buck on out of here. Alright, so we want to get some nice fishies, right? Let's see what we get by the shore here. So what we're going to do... Now, you can't fish until you do a certain mission, so I'll give you a warning on that. But once you have it, you press L1, hold it. You go over to your fishing rod here, which may be under a bunch of stuff, but fishing rod. There we go. We're at the Dakota River. We're going to have to go ahead and put some bait on it. We're going to put bread bait. There we go. Right. We can go ahead and cast our line. Okay. Oh, that's a far one. All right, now we just wait and just chill. We talk about some good old fishing stories, chat. Back in 84, I used to be the best fisherman in the world. Yep, I won the Fisher Olympics and I took it home for Canada. But then it all went down south after that. Literally went down south. There was no more fish there. Oh, gotta reel this one in. Here we go, buddy. Come on. You good? He's gonna break my line, isn't he? Stop. Come on. Oh, he's struggling. He, he doesn't want to get caught. Come on. Bring him in. Reel him in. Oh, this is a pretty... He didn't feel that small. He really didn't feel that small. Redfin pickerel. I'm gonna throw back. Maybe next time. I'm gonna throw back because he wasn't that big. We gotta let the 
We gotta let the baby ones live, you know? Alright, let's get onto a boat here. What's the biggest aquatic animal? I have no idea. This could work. Let's put a rod in the boat. Can we put it in the boat? Oh, I put the bread bait on it. Ooh. Let's put it away. Let's put our hands on. There we go. Collapse that fishing rod. Very useful. All right. Let's head out into the middle of the water here. This is where she can find some, some proper fish. Some birds on the water. I think right when we get into the middle of this lake would be a good idea. That was a really small fish. We're getting a bit tired here. But the good fishes are in the middle, let me tell you that. There's something up there in the middle though, you guys see it? I don't think that's a boat. I think my guy's singing to himself. Or I'm going crazy. Alright, so where are we on the map right now? This is a massive body of water, to say the least. Let's go a little bit. Let's go like a minute out that way. You can find the legendary bluegill at the Flat Iron Lake. Ooh. Can you drown? I don't know if you can. I don't think so. I don't think you can go underwater, so. Better than the first Red Dead, where if you touched the water, you died. All right, I think I think we should be far out enough. Let's see. Does it say the name of the lake yet? Doesn't say the name of the lake yet. Surprisingly. Yeah, let's stand up in this boat. Oh, wrong button. Oh goodness. Can I take out my fishing rod? How do you... It told me how to stand up before. Do any of you remember how? It told me how to stand up in the boat. Might have to go back in the stream and see it here. Let me see. Should have paid attention to that prompt. Um... I thought it was triangle too, but I keep jumping out. Press triangle, stand up. Okay, it's just... Oh, it's light press triangle. Alright, so we're standing up. Now we can take out our fishing rod. Alright. Flat iron lake right now. Hold L2 to grip the rod. Actually, let's change the bait. So we're going to change it now to some lure fishing lake lure. Attracts all medium and large sized lake fish. Let's put that on. Lake Sturgeon and Muskie. Alright, here we go. I haven't caught a big one before. Here we go. Fish attracted to the bait will often nibble before taking a bite. So you gotta watch out for that. So as soon as you hear a hard like tug on it. Look at his right leg. Do you guys see it? Dun dun bum ba dum ba bum 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 bum. Come on, fish. They're like arrows in my back, too. Or the, the bow's in my back. Tap R2 to attract fish by flicking the line. Oh, look. It is I. Just some fish food. Welcome. To my fishing channel. 24 hours of fishing. All we do around here is fishing. 
Come on. One fish. Gotcha. I got him. Got him. Yeet. Oh, I broke my freaking line. He's right there. I saw him. He's a big one. All right. Let's try that again. He really throws it out, huh? All right, so the bigger fish definitely take longer. Now, this is quality gameplay. You can say that again. Let's pull him away. There we go. Fill him in a little bit. Once we make him a little bit tired. We're good here. Oh. Hey, chill. 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 It's really dark. Alright, now he's tired. Let's reel him in. Reel him in. I can't even see. Oh, this is a huge fish. Let's make him tired again. Oh, shoot. Pull down L to drag the fish towards you quickly and then yep. quickly reload to make it fast. Yep. Come on. Oh, calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh, this is hard. Come on. Did we get it? Oh, we did. <laughs> wow. Woo! We got a largemouth bass. Oh, quite a large mouth. A favorite among anglers that make up in fight for what they lack in taste. Though the flaky fish meat can be eaten, they they like crayfish bait. Let's keep them. I'm keeping you, I'm afraid. There we go. We got our big old first fish here. We got a couple more lake lures, which is nice. Man, so beautiful out here, isn't it? I want to see something real quick. Can I put the lantern on my belt? There we go. And then how about if I take out... No, won't work like that, huh? Alright, let's try to get one more fish out here. Yeah! Alright, just keep it cool, calm, and collected. You got to just believe in yourself and just really just cool it. That's all you got to do. This is a good time to relax. Take a breather. Go first person. Just think about all the good things in life. Like fishing. I've never been fishing in real life, let me tell you that. So I don't know anything, but... If I have to hold R2 when they go fishing in real life... Better believe it. Come on, fishy, where you at? There's some bait in the water. Oh. Making some power moves. Oh, look, a fish. Tell more fishing stories. Well, let me tell you about the legendary bullhead catfish. I'm not even going to grip my reel. I'm going to grip it. I'm going to reset my cast here. We're going to set it far away here. Here we go. There you go. What a cast. What a cast. Go to the legendary fishing site. I think I gotta practice a bit more before I do that. I wanna catch one more fish before we go out. Fishing this boring in real life, guys. <laughs> Come on.
Come on. Just give me one more fish. One more fish. That's all I request. Oh, did I have no bait on the cast? Oh. I put on a lake lure, didn't I? Let me see. Okay. Okay, so I put on bread here. And let me switch it. It's way more boring in real life. Alright, there we go. Let's put the lure on it. Let's send this out to sea. Come on. We'll have to nibble before taking the bait. Just takes patience. You have to real lure to make it. Oh, got you. Okay. Oh, well, it tells you to do that. Like in the bottom right, you'll see it tells you to spin randomly sometimes. So that's what I'm assuming when a fish is coming nearby. You gotta reel it a little bit. Come on now. There's no fishes out here, guys. Goodness gracious. Fishing takes forever. Let me tell you that. I think I'd rather jump in there with my hands at this point. Keep on reeling. Alright. I'll keep reeling. I don't see a single fish. Alright. Let's hop in this boat. Maybe if we fish, would it be better to fish during the daytime? Or what? Not a nighttime, wait till day. <coughs> Let's go back to the water, the water's edge. Just use your gun. Throw dynamite in the lake. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, right? It is so dark outside here. If you're using lure, you have to lure the fish in. I was doing that. I was doing that. Time of day doesn't make a difference. They're all sleeping. Lazy fish, man. These lazy fish. Is there a part before this that you haven't shown? If you're watching the watching the walkthrough, you know something, some missions are different. I did record three parts of the walkthrough for when I'm gone. So there's that. Reel the learn consistently. Alright, let's try it one more time because a lot of you guys are saying this is the wave. I see a fish over there too. All right, here we go. Fish. All right. Bait. Get the lake lure. Is the lake lure already on it? I, it doesn't look like it. But it doesn't let me put it on it, if that makes sense. Yeah, let's try this. Let's do worm bait. There you go. All right. Let's cast out a line. Got to talk to the fish. How you doing, fish?
Do I have to reel it if it's a worm bait? I honestly think daytime is better. I don't know. Tap R2 to attract fish by flicking the line. Like, I don't even see a single movement in the water. Oh! You were too slow trying to hook the fish. Gosh darn it, Bobby! Hold up, dumb fish. I guess I'm the dumb one here. You don't have to reel in with the worms. Seemed to work when I was doing it. We got some fishing experts in chat. I just want to say that. There's a worm moving in the water. Patience. Come on, fishy. The fish are sleeping, man. That's it. This is free roam, so I'm not going to do any missions in it. There we go. Come on. I got one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I can cut the line. If I really need to. Stop. Just stop struggling. Stop struggling. You're going to make this harder on yourself. I'm just trying to get some good fish to eat, all right? Come on. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Pull down L to drag the fish towards you and quickly reel. Oh, there we go. You, Woo! sir, are a fish. You, sir, are a fish. It's a four pound largemouth bass. I'm going to keep you, too. All right. Let's, uh, let's put it on the large lure. Lake lures are excellent for catching lake dwelling large fish, especially the lake sturgeon. All right. Last one we're throwing in here. Take your time to catch fish. Oh, there's a couple of fish over there for sure. Come on. Oh, one's, come, one's going for it. I'm going to be the best fisherman ever. That might just be raindrops, guys. I take everything back. Oh, there we go. Got some. Stop struggling. Stop struggling. Stop struggling. Stop struggling. It'll be alright. It's alright. It's alright, big boy. There we go. There we go. There we go. And... Yeah! We got another largemouth bass. Samara needs me to open this. Yeet! I got it open. Samara, do I keep him or throw him back? Throw him back. Alright. There you go, fishy. Alright. We got enough fish for today, I think. Let's go ahead and hop in and get on out of here. We need to cook some fish. That's what we need to do. So let's go make a camp. Cook some fish. See? We learned how to fish in this stream, guys. Sturgeon could be 50 pounds? What? Nice to know what fishing is like on a boat at night. There you go, Happy Savage. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. That's another way of fishing. I didn't tell you that in the tutorial. 
They did not tell you that in the tutorial, let me tell you that. Beach this thing. Let's get on out of here. Oh, we might have to swim a little bit. It's a good day. Good day for Arthur Morgan. Wait a second. I see a fishy in the water. Last fishy. We need three fishes. Three's the lucky number. Let's go ahead and get some bait. Let's get a lake lure. Let's go ahead and cast the line out. Oh, there's a lot of fish here. Let's slowly rake it in here. There we go. Come on now. Come on now. One of you guys gonna bite, right? There we go. He's gonna fight it a little bit. He's gonna fight it a little bit. We're gonna pull him in though. We're gonna pull him in. Just fine. We're gonna pull him in just fine. Come on, bucko. I've tamed wilder horses. You just a fish. You a strong fish though. Goodness gracious. This right stick is getting pretty slippery, not gonna lie. Pull down L and then drag the fish towards you to quickly reel in it. Oh, there's a snake in the water! What the flying macaroni! Oh, what is this? Oh, <gasps> we got a steelhead trout. Sometimes called rainbow trout, this tasty catch is top prize amongst anglers who often use worms as bait. Yes, let's go. We're keeping that one. You're mad. I swear to you, I saw a snake in the water as well. I don't mess with no snakes in the water. You ever deal with snakes the way I deal with snakes? You dual wield, you find them, and you take them out. There was definitely a snake there. All right, let's go to that guy's camp since he already set it up for us. There you go, bucko. Let's see if we can cook some of that. That good, good. And drift it out. I swear the water level might change. Looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Let's rest by the fire. In the mud, though. Let's craft and cook. So let's see, we can make some coffee. There you go, look at that. Let's do some of that. Let's brew a pot of coffee. There we go. Let's pour ourselves some coffee now. Ooh, there you go. That's that good stuff right there. Oh, that's good. That's the good stuff. All right, we can make some... What should we make? Oh, we should make plain flaky fish. Succulent fish. Ooh. What is... Ooh. Plain succulent fish gives you so much. That's wild. Let's do the plain flaky fish, though, just because... We didn't... We don't have to do... We don't have to go crazy. We can keep the other one for later. There you go. Cook some of that fish. Eat it. There we go. We're all good now. Yeah, we can make some tonic. Let's go ahead and craft it with Indian tobacco. You can craft three of this item. Let's craft it. So we're going to go ahead and mix it over the fire. Pour it into our bottle. Let's store it. You can actually just drink it straight up, but we're going to keep it for later. Let's craft another one. There we go. Let's stow that away as two. And let's make one more here. Let's stow that. 
<laughs> you can rob banks, take people out, and he's excited about cooking fish. Yes! Cooking fish is awesome. You can make a fire bottle. I'm gonna make one of these, because I ain't never seen them before, so... I think it's literally just a Molotov, but... There we go, we made a fire bottle. Make a second one, too. What else? Hunting. Nothing there. Alright. Let's pour some more coffee. Nice little morning coffee over here. I'll be in San Jose. I'm leaving tonight. I'll be there tonight. And uh, I'm there tomorrow for the stream invitational. So that's why I'm going to be doing uploads. There's going to be at least three uploads for Red Dead Redemption. So be on the lookout for those. This has been incredible. I love the experience of this game. Such a great experience. Let's see if we can hunt one big thing and bring it back, though. So what we're going to want to do is get our arrow out. I see one down by the water there. Ooh. That's an American proghorn doe. Oh, there we go. That's going to be a three-star pelt as well. We didn't really need the dead eye there, but... All right, buddy. Let's skin them. So you can see their stars. How good they are in the bottom right when you aim at them. So that should be a perfect pelt. A perfect proghorn hide. There we go. Let's go ahead and stow, stow that. There we go. We can go ahead and uh, pick that up now too. It'll be good for the camp. Now they can eat for another day. We got mouths to feed, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Wild West. No Walmart around here. Perfection. All right, I do want to be worried with... Oh, there we go. We can study that bird. What bird is that? It's a golden crowned sparrow. Good to know. Good morning. Good morning. Now, we're going to head back to camp. We're going to make some deer stew. And we'll see if on our way back we can spot any bunnies. See if we can snipe one out. Maybe get a perfect bunny pelt. Check the crab trap by the fire at the camp. I'm going to check because a couple of you asked for that. So we're going to see if you can actually get the crab trap working. I wonder if you can actually trap animals in this game. Don't know if they would go that far. Like in terms of trapping, say like um, beavers, stuff like that. Stuff they did back then, you know? Will you be doing side missions? I will be doing everything in the walkthrough. The walkthrough is going to be quite comprehensive. So. Let's see. Nothing in the crab trap. Fortunately. So let's get moving here. Looks like we might be able to go up this hill actually. Oh. In one of the walkthrough episodes, I did hunt a bison. So there's actually a field... With quite a bit of bison. The the, the mission's actually pretty heartwarming with who you go with, so. Also, the mission where you go fishing is pretty awesome. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but. There's a horse there. I want to study it. Okay, you got to chill, dude. There we go. Alright, what, what horse is that? That's a Morgan. Alright, we already know about Morgans. We know enough about you. Don't we? Don't we, chat? Alright, I think we can head back to camp now. There's so much wild left. Over 200 species of animals in this game. Believe it or not, over 200. We haven't run into the half of it. We haven't been to different ecosystems yet besides the snow. Really, there's truly a lot to discover in this game. 
Oh, American Red Fox. It doesn't got a perfect pelt, so it truly doesn't concern me. We're not going to make extreme bank if they don't got perfect pelt anyway. So you got to be wary. You got to know what you're looking for, you know? Hunt a bear. In due time, we will hunt everything. I'm starting to be with a bit talk with a bit of an accent now. I'm feeling it. Yep. Let's head down here through the forest. You gotta give this in the camp. If you recognize the the noises some animals make, you can probably make quick judgment too if if the animal you're looking for is around. Which would be really useful, to say the least. Let's hitch up our horse here. Come on, a little bit closer. There we go, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's grab this American pronghorn. We're gonna have some nice stew here. Oh, my horse is pooing. It's all good. It's very foggy out here too. Alright, so we'll... I was the butcher. You're covered in blood, man. I'm trying to give you this very, very nice piece of meat, sir, okay? Let's go ahead and put it on the table. Said donate. And when we donate, we'll go ahead and give him the perfect pronghorn carcass. Very good. There we go. And then give him the perfect pronghorn hide. There we go. Alright, so then you can go ahead and get crafting upgrades like I showed earlier. And you can see what sort of is used for what. So Arthur's Lodging. I don't think I got anything that involves a proghorn. You need perfect boar. Oh, there we go. We need two perfect proghorn hides. And we'll have a beautiful tabletop. Oh, there we go. We can get a skull on the the freaking chuck wagon. And listen good. You can hunt moose, snake, a bunch of stuff out here. Hanging bones to buck antler. We're going to put it, why don't we put it at, uh, let's put it on the chunk wagon. Prong or scar, skull. There you go. Recipe. Oh, there we go. Alright. We'll now we got a skull up there. A little bit of, uh... Hi there. Some decoration, to say the least. This has been an absolutely incredible episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 Free Robe. If you want to see more in the future, hit that like button. It lets me know if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. And especially if you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 content, make sure you hit that bell to turn on those post notifications. I'm going to be uploading this week. Would love your support on those uploads. I'll be back uh, November 1st. So no more live streams until November 1st. Actually, I might live stream from like YouTube headquarters. Or, or somewhere else. So be on the lookout. But at least for Red Dead. I think this will be the last live stream. At least for a few days. So I hope you did enjoy it. Thank you all. Let me know if you want to see anything else that I missed on the free roam stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and read these super chats. And uh, those of you who donated as well. I, did, I didn't want to interrupt the flow of the gameplay. I am appreciative of everyone who dropped any, dropped the like. Who dropped the, um, you know, subscribed. Appreciate of all that. And appreciative of everyone who donates as well. So I'm going to go ahead and read those now. Shout out to Jude Pope. I definitely got to play State of Decay again, man. It's, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. We also have uh, Lion Gaming. Shout out to you. Um, Ethan Armstrong, thank you for that. The Sloth Tickler with the five. Favorite streamer I've been watching for years. Are you taking your Lamborghini to TwitchCon in LA? Shout out to you, man. Appreciate that. No, I'm taking a plane, so my Lamborghini will not be coming. But I will be there. So if you are in the area and you see me, make sure you say hi. Uh, shout out to Edzus Jacobsons. Love your vids. Keep up the good work. Will do, man. Shout out to you and thank you for the kind words. Shout out to Simon Appleby. Andrew Miller. All you have to do is follow the damn trade, CJ. San Andreas, always in my heart, Andrew. Shout out to you. Adam Zam, thanks for that. Definitely need to do some Friday 13th. Wish I could have recorded some before holiday, but or before Halloween, but definitely got to do that. 
Uh, typical Jackson. Hey, TG. Hope you and Samara are doing well. I hope you like the pumpkin I made for you and your, my favorite YouTuber. And most important, tell everyone to go cop some fire merch at Typical Dot Store from Jackson. Jackson, big shout out to you. Love the pumpkin you made. If you guys have anything like that, any art, anything you want to send me, send me on Twitter or Instagram, tag me, and I will definitely be sure to do my best to check it out. I appreciate everything you guys do. Jackson, big shout out to you. Uh, at Xlo, shout out to you. Hexagod, huge fan, been watching this since 1 million. You're the best, bro. Thank you, Hexagod. Appreciate the support and glad you're enjoying the content. Keenan Gaming, shout out to you and definitely got to do more WWE 2019. Be on the lookout. Timothy Crocker, glad you enjoy the videos. Real Cutta, thanks for that. Wolfboy, Tantrum. Let's keep the stream going. You're the best YouTuber ever. Thank you, Tantrum. Big shout out to you. Keenan, thank you for joining. Welcome to Lead. If you want to join as well, link in the description below. And then we also have Alex Malloy. I'm glad I'm subbed to you and Samara. Keep up the good work. Alex, big shout out to you. And uh, I'm glad you're subbed to me as well, man. Glad I get to talk to you. And glad I get to talk to you all in chat as well. So I hope you did enjoy this. More Red Dead Redemption soon. So be on the lookout. And if you want to cop some fire merch, head over to Typical Dot Store. We have a lot of Red Dead Redemption inspired sort of colors and stuff on there. So head there, link in the description below, typical that store, get yourself something nice and make sure to tweet me a picture when you get it. On that note, that's gonna be right for this one and I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and peace out.